And welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Hesperia. Last time we kind of just did some more stuff at Namakabanda Isle. Didn't get a ton accomplished, but hey. Um I love capsules. You love capsules. We love capsules. Hey hey hey. Welcome to the capsule corner. Ready to get your capsule on? What do you mean? What's a capsule? You put in a chip or two, and the machine turns round and round, and what pops out is a capsule full of love and dreams. What's inside these capsules, exactly? Big dreams, little dreams, all sorts of dreams, really. So in other words, it could be just about anything. Sounds like a pretty big gamble to me. Dreams are always a gamble, my friends. From right to left, the machines require one chip, ten chips, a hundred chips, and five hundred chips. The more chips required, the better the dream. Go to the machine you like and get your capsule on. Gotta love the, the capsules. Round and round and round. Heh. <laughs> Gotta love the capsules indeed. Well, oh, this doesn't sound good. Uh, gel toy. Food toy. Oh. Okay. Bottle. Wait, bottle toy? I'm in jail. Okay, that was useless. Speaking of which, uh, what are we doing on? How are we doing on items? Pretty good. Um, sure. <laughs> One gold! That was worth it. Um. Hmm. Okay, so that one's being repaired. Let's talk to this kid. Welcome to the Captivating Game Corner. Please indulge yourself in our wonderful diversions. Wow, everything here is something I've never seen before. It's not Blasty, are they? Crack, no Blasty at all. We made everything here by hand. How about that? Pretty nice, huh? You mean your little tykes made all this by hand? Of course, we worked our butts off. Hey! Wow, that's great, but what is this? Seeing as believing, my friend, and you won't see it until you play it. Play it? We don't even know how. No worries, no worries. We'll pick it up quickly. Allow me to pick one, uh, uh, one of you to give it a test run. Hmm. Alright, let's go with Miss Bouncy Pouncy Critian. Me? I don't think I'd be very good at this. Don't worry about it, that just means it'll be more fun for you. Alright, right, this way then. Can you just stand there for a sec? And now, cha-ching! Well, this is interesting. Can I attack? Or not? I apparently can't attack, it's just dodging. Uh, something to note is that this little minigame actually has a title attached to it. If you play this a total of 30 times, uh, you get a title for Raven. That was Baul, wasn't it? What you were imagining in your mind showed up on that very screen. I feel like that adds a bit of game-like quality to it, don't you? I don't get it at all. You mean if someone else is doing the thinking, something else will show up on the screen? Sorry, that's all for now. That was the last game machine that wasn't in use. Ah, what a bus kill. Hey, no big deal, right? We can come back here some other time and play, right? Yes, come whenever you'd like. You'll have your very own game machine just for Mrs. Bouncy Bounce and her friends. Oh, but next time you play, don't forget that you'll need chips too. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show this or not. What sort of technology is this? I can't understand how it takes the image of Baul from our heads and turns it into a game. Well, well. So there are things not even our genius mage understands. You know, this whole town is full of stuff we don't understand. <laughs> so what? If it's fun, it's fun. Maybe that works for happy-go-lucky Raven, but I need to understand what's around me. I think there's some truth in what Raven's saying. Even if you can't unravel certain mysteries, it doesn't change the fact that what's fun is fun. You see? You see? Judith, darling, unlike someone here, you sure know what's important. You and me, we're on the same wavelength. I wonder what would come up on the screen if it showed what the old man was thinking. I don't even want to imagine it. In fact, I'm sure we couldn't imagine it if we tried. Yep, so 30 times. So every time you talk to him, you need 10 chips to play. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just show it later, getting the title. Like at the end of a video. Speaking of end of the video, um, let's play poker. Off screen, I kind of went a little bit nuts. 
<laughs> I went just a little bit nuts. So the strategy is generally to bet um, 500 each time. Just play poker like you would normally. One pair doesn't get you anything, but any better pairs, um, better combinations of cards can very quickly double your score. And then some. Now I'm going to get addicted again. Uh, I'm just going to try to get... Uh, something to show here. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to come up. Uh, of course I say that now. So these are Joker cards. Here is the Joker, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, but basically this is just will automatically make a pair with something uh, to benefit you. So for example if you have two sixes here, uh, it'll basically turn into a six in order to match. It also work for straights as well, uh, and also five of kinds. So this is kind of nice. Uh, this is again how you typically will see people try to get a lot of uh, golf fast, which is what I'm going to go into now if I can pry myself away from this. Um, so yeah, that took a few hours last night, but hey, not in bad shape. So. Uh, from what I was reading, the, the recommended strat for this is to buy the Holy Avenger. Just keep buying them. You can hold up to 15, of course, because it's an item. Uh, and you can resell them. And also you get a special cutscene if you buy a lot. Wow, amazing, you've gotten so many rare treasures. We've never had anyone this lucky before. Oh really? There was only one of each of them, so I figured they might be valuable. Indeed, out of all the items we have, those were very special. Well, this was a lot of fun. We got a ton of chips, too. Yeah, and Judith had such a good time playing, too. The games are also simple and fun. I guess they just suit me well. I've been watching you, too. It seems you're quite the experienced gambler. Oh, why do you say that? I was watching you while you played poker, and the expression on your face never changed. <laughs> You've got quite the poker face. Think something like a little hand of poker could phase our Judy? <laughs> was that a compliment I just heard? Truly, truly, I'm most impressed. You're the best gambler who's ever visited our establishment. A huge variety of prizes available. Well, la di da. Um, no one can guess what truly lies behind your expressionless mask. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Okay, so how many did we acquire? Okay, we almost maxed out. Uh, we actually have 15, but one is equipped to Estelle. Uh, by the way, I actually did buy one for Estelle already. Uh, that's how much gambling I did to get at least 100,000 other chips. Or actually about seven, I think it was about 60 to 70,000 extra. Just in order to uh, buy one for Estelle, because stat-wise, it's not a bad weapon. Uh, it's the strongest thing we have at the moment, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff that we can do. Uh, but first stop I want to make is down at Desier. I think that was the name of this place. Down here, uh, a little while ago, we were told to go to Mantake to meet somebody here. I just want to double check with cows. Yeah, we just totally missed that. <laughs> what a weird cutoff point for such a seemingly superfluous quest. Doesn't look like Dine's here. Wonder if he's at the inn taking a rest. Maybe we just got here ahead of him. Carol, forgive me, me and my guys are pretty much done for. What happened? Did you already go up against a monster? No, we all ate some food that was a little past its prime, so to speak. Not too much the worse for wear, but the others are lucky if they can manage to stand up. Sucks to be you guys. You're telling me. We just have to cool our heels here until you guys are feeling better. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sign of the monster. That's actually a bit of a problem. You see, the monster went and abducted the man you hired us to feed it. Okay, now this is officially a mess. 
Now I have a suspicion our client is the type who never really held a sword. I can only hope he's still alright. I'd like to go to his rescue right now, but in this condition... Which way did the monster go? He flew off straight north from here. Flew? Or north from here would take us right to Mount Temza. Could it be that huge monster from the last time we were there? Just might be. I know my stomach, I've gotta run. Good luck. Just us on us. It's Mount Temza, let's go see what we can find out. Right. Uh, what did you just say? Here, there's a new town. Maybe we should open a branch there. Of course, I'd never leave Mantic. Okie dokie. Uh, fun fact, off screen, I actually used up a lot of mats. Uh, this is gonna take a little bit of an explanation, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully not too long. Well, these are not effective weapons. Um... So... Holy Avengers, we got 14 of them. Sell 14 of them, you get a lot of gold for it. <laughs> Yep, that's a lot. Believe it or not, oh wait, actually, double checking something real quick. Uh, all the ones that you can't sell or or like plot important. Uh, you know, Bisyon, special, obviously, Bravier apparently is. Um, cuffs. Oh yeah, look, the Glacialopolis was one of the uh, special weapons. I remember Zarek was... Uh, yeah, that's about it. But yeah, Nebulum as well. Uh, we're actually getting close to finding all the fell arms, by the way. Uh, just as a side note. Okay, so Mount Temza it is. But yeah, we have 500,000 gold now, so, uh, really, here's the thing. Uh, you know, I have this equipped, and, you know, that for drop rate, that for grade, and Raven doesn't have anything. Uh, there, I think, is a way to craft more Sephira, meaning you can just have all of them have it, and therefore, you could really boost up your gold that way just to battle. The other option, of course, is to just gamble, and then once you have about 300,000 or so, uh, just buy as many um, holy adventures as you can. Dang, that thing's huge! This gotta be the monster to chase us when we were here for the Everlight. What about the kidnapped client? He's nowhere in sight. You don't think he ends up a snack, do ya? Maybe we'll get a better idea if we take a closer look. You're right. So, this is weird. This is actually a plot important. Hey, look over there. No, Bis, that guy's Dine's client? He's the one with the Soulsmiths, right? We should probably help him before he becomes lunch. Here we go. It's not every day you get a Giganto monster <laughs> as a quest enemy. Um. Not to, you know, diminish his importance, but this guy's a little bit outclassed by us now. Uh, I ended up equipping kind of a lousy party, all things considered, and I don't really feel like this is gonna matter, <laughs> because we already are chipping him away pretty well, as is. Uh, Luna Rondo, okay. You can also, I think, use most arts in midair, which is helpful. Yeah, he hits pretty hard, but uh, nothing that we can't deal with. See, we've got 40,000 HP down already. Um, wow, that does a lot of damage, Luna Crush. Um, so yeah, Raven's basically our healer, which is not something you see every day. Um, and repeat died, so that's swell. So I should have taken the cell and just, Yeah, I should have switched around the party before going into this fight, probably. Um... Might not have been a bad idea. Okay, uh... Trying to build up a chain here. Not quite working on my favor. <laughs> uh, by the way, we'll probably get a positive grade boost just partly from the fact that this is a boss and we'll get 10 grade regardless. Just making note of that. Uh, 
I only did 2,000 that time. That must have been a crit before. Unless there's some special condition to it doing more damage. What level was this enemy even? I'm actually curious because it's been so long. This one's 49, so... Uh, I mean, it's not boss. Boss is boss, but... It's not really a big deal. Hellhound return? Probably a mix of two attacks. Thirty-nine thousand should be over in no time. But I also kind of wish I hadn't fought this back when I did because I could have just gotten that gigantic monster out of the way now. <laughs> but who would have known? I use Moonlight Blast a lot because it seems like it does a ton of damage compared to a lot of other moves. Um, I use like a Quick Fall and I don't even remember how I did that because it's a skill. I forgot what the skill is. By the way, there's also a title for Raven if he has like a hundred skills. That's gonna take a little bit of farming. Um, just a bit. Wow, this is going well. Okay, knock him out of the air at least. Briefly. He's got 70,000, so almost. So is that okay? Yeah, we had a positive increase, even with the fact that we uh, kind of uh, weren't really prepared for that fight at all. Yo, hang in there. My Everlight, is, is it safe? You're kidding, you mean you haven't given that up yet? Some people never learn. No matter how important it might be to you, you'd have to be crazy to face a monster like this on your own. This isn't something worth throwing your life away for. Come on, Estelle, cut him a little slack. But he was hurt as it was already, and he came here despite that. Please forgive me, but I must take this back with me. Ah. No, but hang on. Let's get back to Mantic so we can rest. Wait, we need some evidence that we beat the monster. It's all about evidence. Here, this ought to do. No, but may not make it if we don't hurry. Are we finished here? <laughs> I also better hope that, uh... Um, Zagi does, doesn't decide to show up again. Like last time. How many times have we fought him now? Four? <laughs> I think four. I also, with the character Zagi, don't know if he's supposed to be comic relief or kind of a threat sometimes. It's a little bit hard to tell. Okay, so definitely stocking back up uh, after that. That could have gone better if I had brought Estelle. Or Carol, even. Just as a healer. We still have over 500,000 gold though. Um, just healing because we took a lot of damage that fight. Hmm. So maybe just head back to where we were, where Dine was. Where was Dine? Yeah, where the heck is he? Is that him? So you're back, how'd it go? Took him down, check it out. That confirms it, nice work, kid. This guy your client? Yeah, that's him. I just don't get it, he really had it in for that monster. Not that he ever had a snowball's chance in hell of winning. He must have really wanted that Everlight badly. What is it about Everlight that would make him wind, uh, risk winding up like this? Not that he's in a position to tell us at the moment. I thought it was a guild rule not to go poking around in the client's personal business. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious myself, though. At least he ended up getting what he wanted. Hopefully this means his days of being a nutcase are behind him. And how are you feeling? Me? I'm fit as a fiddle again. Afraid I can't say the same for my buddies yet, though. You really saved their butts this time. Hope this shows you guys how much we appreciate it. I'll look after Mr. Reckless here myself. Thanks again, Carol. You've really learned a thing or two. Take care of yourself, Dine. Brave Vesperia is making smooth sailing! But I'm not sure if I can see which way we're heading. You mean it's like we're surrounded by fog on all sides? I kinda like that, though. 
You never know what's gonna happen next. It's more like we lack a plan in the first place. But that can be fun too! We might run across an amazing treasure, or something even better! <laughs> you sure have a lot of enthusiasm for someone to get startled so easily, Captain Carol. I, I like being startled! What's the point of an adventure without surprises? <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's just keep moving forward as we have been, as a guild. And with that, we are now heading to the other side of the world, roughly. Because we're on the east, like... No, west. Southwest. Now we have to go northeast. If we so desired. Because there's actually a fell arm over there. But actually, now that I think about it, I think it would be more fitting in terms of continuity to not go there yet and to go somewhere else. And that somewhere else is actually Cave Mock. Hooray! Because we haven't been backtracking there enough lately. I kind of wish I'd gone to Fell Arm on this trip. Woof. Find something repeat? Ah. These guys are hunting blades. What the hell happened? We're done by a huge monster. Ah, if only the chief were here. Nan's all alone, please. Nan! Hey, what are you doing charging it by yourself? I'll go too. It's finally Carol's time to shine, don't you think so? It's time to shine? He sha Punching smash! That was easy. Yeah, you okay? Carol, why are you? Yeah, what what happened here? Yeah, explain this. Ah, uh, yes, sir. When you and the others went in to hunt the monsters, a huge monster suddenly appeared. The monster beat everyone. Yes, but Carol, Carol defeated the monster. Oh, but I didn't do it alone. Carol, you did this. Uh, uh, you have the saw. You have my thanks. Uh? So every day the chief thanks someone. Anyway, you have my thanks as well. I know I mean you don't have to. This is for you. Huh, what's this? It's a piece of clothing I made from the fangs and tusks of a monster that I slew recently. It had the most amazing golden tusks. His tusks were made of gold? I thought it wouldn't look right on anyone who wasn't strong enough, but I think it'll suit you just fine. Huh, you mean? Well, I'm going now. The next time I see you, I'm going to be stronger, too. Okay. Looks like she dropped something. Yeah, I'll get stronger, too. I assume that's a costume, considering how they're hyping it up. Uh... Yay, we finally can scroll this list. Okay, that's not what I expected this to look like. Um, the only thing that stands between the monsters and you is your golden armor. Pretty cool. Um, but we're not done yet. Still got a few minutes left to do some more side quests, and there's actually one major side quest I finally figured out thanks to the help of something called Google searches. The way this works, the dog map that is, the way this works is uh, all you need to do is like go to an unmarked area or a red area and use a tent. Remember how I had no mats and was running out of tents or simple tents? Yeah, that's because I was working on it off screen. Uh, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Apparently there's an event I think when you get to like 40 or 50 percent. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, but other than that, that's all that I, I really can say about this. Apparently there's an there's like a title, which indirectly for an achievement, uh, that's for completing 95% of the map. And that 5% is mostly just areas you can't reach to use a tent, namely like Zaude and a few others. And yeah, that's kind of a procedure. Hey, so we meet again. Hmm. 
Wait, I want to talk to Nan. Carol? Nan, yeah, what about you? Do you have anything to say to this kid? Master, I... We're heading to Dongress. Make sure you're back by tomorrow morning. Chief, thank you. So what is it, Carol? Oh, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, Nan. I'm sorry for always being so wishy-washy and for causing you nothing but trouble. I think my travels with Yuri and everyone else I figured out was really important to me. That's why. Can you just stop bothering me? You only ever think about yourself, Carol. Nan, even if you learned what's important to you, nothing's ever going to change if you stay as weak as you are. I got stronger, I'll prove myself to you, Nan. I wonder, you always talk big, but nothing ever comes of it. It might be impossible, but I want you to believe me. I'm different, Nan. I've changed. Alright, I'll teach you a technique of mine. If you can master it in one night, I'll reconsider how I feel about you. In one night? Sounds like we'll be spending the night here. Thanks, Yuri. In this technique, you jump into the air and then use all of your weight to fall downwards head first. What do you think? You'll never be able to master it until you man up and stop being such a coward. Ugh. I, I've got to try. Sorry for making you wait. Carol, I'll never forgive you if you die while I'm gone. Looks like things didn't go so badly. Heh. <laughs> Rending drop. That sounds like good art, doesn't it? So, it sounds like an aerial art too, which is always going to be fun. I can't say I'm a fan of aerial arts, really. I mean... Mainly just because jumping can be a little bit inconsistent. Uh, sometimes. Okay, a lot of times. One more stop. Right here. Parking on this side of the level, just because we are heading back to Heliord to check out something. I... what? I don't remember this being there. Um... Oh, Buenos Aires, how have you been? Oh, it's Mr. Sicily. I swear that kook is def definitely following us. Professor Sicily, I miss you. Oh, it's Sterilo. How have, have you been well, Sterilo? I've been very well. It looks like you've been well too, Professor Sicily. Sterilo, that's not his name. So what's ca- so what, Carol? It doesn't seem to mind anyway. The thief! Catch him! Get him, Pete. You stupid mutt. That was amazing! Thank you, my canine friend. An amazing dog. Yeah, you can count on Pete. He's more reliable than most humans I know. So he can really fight after all. He has a weapon, too. That's right, but Pete's faster than just about anything. Hmm, this gives me some motivation. Huh, now you've taken an interest in Rapide? See, I think so. I think I could make something very nice, but could he really use it to its full potential? Seems like you have something on your mind. Be quiet, Professor Sicily's thinking. Hmm, it looks like it, this dog should be able to use it. See? What's that, something by Rapide? Just wait a moment, I will make you something very good. Hope I saw some lousy letdown with Carol OX again. Are you making fun of me? How dare you? How dare you? Finito. Wow, you're sure fast at this stuff. I think this should be just right for your canine. Looks like it's a weapon for repeat. This is something we can use. You're the greatest, Professor Sisley. It's amazing. Yeah, I've gotta say, thanks a lot. You don't need to thank me, your dog just sparked my interest a bit, you know? Ah, I see. Good for you, Rapide. Someone getting a little lonely because no one's interested in him lately. Haha, <laughs> what do you mean? Enough with the jokes, she's darling. Well then, until we meet again, Amishi. Arrivederci. So. We can actually get more weapons. To my knowledge. Uh wow, that's a pretty good increase. 
Everything is unknown about the story. It seems to have been repaired by several blacksmiths. Huh. Well, we got a new weapon for repeat, but there's more to this than meets the eye. Voila! We can actually get more weapons from him, if we so desire to track him down the world and meet a bunch of silly requirements. One requirement is, I know, to get like a 200 hit combo with Yuri, so that's what I was thinking of. The achievement itself is actually only 100, uh, but the weapon is uh, 200. Not gonna lie, I don't remember the others. I think Chilif gets a weapon for like defeating like a thousand or ten thousand total enemies or something ridiculous like that. Um, and by the way, longer video because uh, we got side quests and this is gonna take forever if we actually take our time with this. So we're going to Halur, and you're probably wondering why are we going to Halur? Well, the flowers are blooming so beautifully today. Must be because of the ghost. Yes, it must be. Hey, speaking of ghosts, where's Rita? She said something about looking at a blasty and climbed up, a, up the tree. She certainly got a lot of energy. I've read that Heller's name comes from the three tri types of trees. The Harmonia, the Luria, the Luria, and the Ririn. The beginnings of their names come together to form the name of the town. Spoken like true bookworm. Born and bred. I don't see what's so wrong about that. I've made up my mind. Once we're done with this, with our journey, I'm going to live here. Huh? You're not going back to the castle? I can go to the castle from here if I need to. If I spend all my time cooped up in the castle, I'm afraid I'll get swept up in all of the chaos there. So why not just leave all that castle stuff to Master Yoda so you can relax? I can't do that. So I can't just spend a life goofing off like you can, old man. Now hold on, old Raven's living his life pretty seriously, I'll have you know. Really? How so? Why do you mean, how so? That's a silly conversation. You all don't have anything more productive you could be doing? This from the tree climbing blast, you hunter. I have you know, I've been examining the blast here to, exva to evaluate its potential for spirit conversion. So, did you discover anything? It's no good. The blast here is resonating with Hilaris tree, and it's making some sort of configuration I've never seen before. It does seem like it's made of it's made an elemental spirit on its own, as I suspected. But we're short on time right now, so I'll have to come back later to study it some more. Really? Huh? Well yeah. What's up with you? Selwis is telling us how she wants to live here once our journey is over. Really? Oh, I see. Alright, then if I'm not mistaken, we have an autophagus we need to go take care of. Yes. And that is apparently the last cutscene, the little tree quest. But yeah, it sucks that all of Estelle's character development ends up being in a skit, doesn't it? Uh, while we're actually here, let's check records real quick. Um, it's about 20 million? <laughs> 18 million, that's gonna take a while. Uh, I'll probably have to farm for that a little bit off screen. But, what I actually came here to show, is that we can actually find Professor Sisley here now. And, um, if we talk to him, we can actually get the other choke weapons, as they're apparently called. I'm not sure why they're choke weapons when they're stronger than anything we currently have. Uh, but yeah, you can also get weapons for every character. So, with that, I think we'll call it here, and resume our side quest hunt in the next part. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Tales of Vesperia. This may be a silly question, but what exactly is this town? Yeah, writing I've never seen before, strange buildings, something's not right here. I've traveled all over with Baul, but I've never seen a place like this before. Maybe it's related to some sort of guild activities? I don't know. I've never heard of a guild like this. Well, so what? There's nothing better than a mysterious town every once in a while.